<laughs> I'm down. Hi guys, how are you? Hope you're good. I am so excited. I don't know why I'm so excited. I'm such a child. <laughs> So I have an announcement for you guys. This is something I've never even attempted before, so I don't know how this is gonna work, but bear with me. I want to host a readathon. Now, uh, I've been really, really busy and I couldn't like join some people because of that, and I'm still quite busy, but I had this idea and I really got really, really excited and I wanted to do it, and I was like, you know what, screw it, I'll manage somehow. <laughs> this is gonna come to you as no surprise that it's gonna be Harry Potter themed. I was listening to the Harry Potter book while I was doing some bits at work that didn't require me, you know, like full, full attention, and they mentioned something in the books, and I was like, man, I really wish I could do that, and I thought like, you know, like, sure, I can't technically do it, but I could do a readathon around this so there would be challenges to beat and it would be not like it at all, but <laughs> still it would be something. So I've decided, I would have, don't get me wrong, I would have done this to myself either way, but then I was like, maybe I should do it with other people if they wanted to join. So don't make fun of me, this is a little bit of over the top and you know, but let, let's go with it. I decided that it's time for me and maybe for some of you as well to sit there owls. You know, the ordinary wizarding levels. We're all smart here and I thought that we should challenge ourselves and see how we do. This readathon would take place over the four weeks of April, starting on the 2nd of April and finishing at the end of the 29th of April. So the full four weeks. So I contacted Hogwarts. <laughs> I have an actual letter. So there are a set of challenges based on the subjects of that are taught at Hogwarts. And then there are three pass grades and three fail grades just like at Hogwarts. This is a challenge, so it's not super easy, and you could challenge yourself even more. I will go I will go with you through all of the challenges that correspond to the subjects in a second. I want to clarify a few things. First, there are 12 subjects in total. You cannot double up the challenges, so if you read a book that ticks categories for uh, multiple subjects, you cannot count that, unfortunately. You have to dedicate a book for that subject. That being said, anything that Goodreads accepts as a book is acceptable in this challenge. So all of the comic books, all of the, all of the short books, all of the mangas and graphic novels, anything goes. You know me, I'm a slow reader and usually I'm like, you know, as long it's fine if you don't read and it's fine if one book is way more than the usual amount of books for people but I wanted to make it slightly more challenging because this is a readathon and it's supposed to push you to read more than you usually do but I think still it's quite doable and depends on your competitiveness you can there is definitely a way for you to push yourself all and complete all of the 12 hours um, as it says on this letter you will be graded on your overall owl performance so no, so from the bottom to the top, the, the very worst thing that you could get is a T that stands for troll and that is to not show up at your OWL examinations whatsoever. So technically anyone who's not participating is a troll, but <laughs> I'm just joking, it's totally like, I'm just joking. You could get a D for dreadful and that would be to st start the challenge and not finish any of the OWL. You can get a P for poor and that is to sit and complete one owl so one category and one challenge so those are the fail grades and now to the pass grades i didn't want to make it like too extreme but the first pass grade is a for acceptable and the minimum that you have to do for that one is to sit and pass um at least two owl examinations then you have e and that is exceeded expectations and the minimum requirement for that one is to sit and pass at least three owls now for outstanding, you have to sit and pass at least five of the owls. And if you, as I said, if you want to challenge yourself with more than that, you can set yourself a goal and you can maybe target all of them. The last thing I want to mention before I go through all of the categories and the challenges set for those, if this catches on, and even if not, I'll probably do it anyway, <laughs> but if this goes on as planned, be careful when choosing which owls you would like to sit. I would suggest to make a list of the subjects that you would want to take an exam on 
uh, first before looking at the challenges and then challenge yourself to find a book or a read that matches the challenge because you know what you know what follows after owls it's newts which is the next nastily exhausting wizarding test that students set at the last year of, of hogwarts i want to create that readathon in I'm already looking to the future here, but I want to create that readathon where you are graded within the subject. So there are going to be a multiple challenges to meet inside the subject, which is, you know, the way it's supposed to be. But let's not get too worked up about the way that this is not like that. <laughs> but yeah, the, the catch is that you will be only allowed to complete the news of the things that you passed at our level, as is the tradition. <laughs> so be careful at choosing which owls you would like to sit because that would dictate which newts you're gonna sit later on if you, if you want to join of course. So I think now is the good time to go through the list of subjects and the related challenges. So in the letter it says, Dear student, I write to inform you that your owls examinations will com commence on the 2nd of April. The last day of examinations will be the 29th of April. Please ensure you have taken adequate time until that day to complete the owls you need. You can find the main objectives, objectives and focus of each exam down below. The exams are listed in alphabetical order and we start with ancient runes. To pass ancient runes at our levels, you have to read a book with a mysterious symbol on the cover or any symbol that, you know, means something. <laughs> For arithmetic, you have to read a book with a number on the cover or in the title. To pass astronomy, you need to read a science fiction novel. To pass your care of magical creatures, you need to read a book that includes magical creatures or that features that creature on the cover. To pass your charms, you, you need to read a fantasy novel. For your defense against the dark arts, you need to read a book about or featuring secret societies or clubs because Dumbledore's army. <laughs> if any of you fancy taking a divination exam, you would need to find a book that features prophecies in any extent in that book. For Herbology, you would need to read a book with a nature-related word in the title. So that could be anything forest, water, earth, anything, anything nature-related. For the history exam, you would need to read a historical fiction. Muggle studies would require you to read a muggle non-fiction book. For potions, you would need to read a book that features or is about alchemy. And finally, for the hour level of transfiguration exam, if you choose to sit that, you would be required to read a book that deals with transfiguration or shape-shifting or any type of turning objects into other objects or going turning yourself into something else or any type of similar shape-shifty transfiguration related subject or theme or read a book that has a cat on the cover because that's what professor of the subject turns into. <laughs> so at the very least, to pass your OWL test, you would need to choose two challenges to complete. And uh, at the very, if you're very competitive and you want to go for outstanding, you would have to complete at least five of these. And then if you want to be an honor Hermione level of things, who completed 11 of these, you can set yourself a goal and maybe you want to do all 12. I thought, <laughs> I know this is a little bit extra and over the top, but I thought this was a very fun thing to do and I am really really excited personally <laughs> for all of this. I was thinking about creating some sort of platform where we can all interact if you guys decide that you also want to participate in this readathon. And if you guys know me at all, you know that I don't really use Twitter at all, but I thought that all things considered Twitter account would make the most sense, but I'm creating a separate Twitter account so I can retweet everything that is related to this uh, readathon or the future readathons. As I said, I'm gonna try and do the newt levels afterwards. Um, after a few months or something like that. And so this way I can have this little community on Twitter where only people who want to participate or want to really see what other people pick follow that Twitter account and I can retweet all of your tweets about your choices for the for which owls you're taking and your progress and thoughts throughout the month of April. I am so incredibly excited about this. Um, I'm probably thinking this is more fun then you guys will think that this is, but like I'm hoping that someone's gonna enjoy the idea as well and join me. I have just created a Twitter account for this and it's at Magical Readathon <laughs> because Magical Readathon did not fit because apparently you only get 15 symbols. Um, I, will, I will write it somewhere here and that's the Twitter account for it. And for the, and for the hashtag, that if you want to hashtag it in any platform, it's Owls Readathon 2018 and that should be available. I think. <laughs> I will also upload all of this information on that Twitter 
account as well. You can just have it as a reference for yourself. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to say. <laughs> I don't know. I have wrote the challenges before I started picking the books for myself, so or before deciding which which subjects I want to set my OWL exams at. But after I started creating this, I did choose my wanted TBR for this and the choices for the for the prompts. I will, I will, however, upload that closer to April at the end of March. I really, really look forward to seeing what you guys think about this. I hope you guys want to join me. Um, hope this is enough notice. I hope, I hope this should be right. <laughs> Don't forget to be part of the Twitter family for this specific project and the projects in the future to come hope you guys have fun with this and i cannot wait to speak about this with you thanks so much for watching i hope you have a magical day ahead of you and i'll see you in the next one bye